Dia is finally on the horizon for Genshin Impact and it's actually a little bit more interesting than you think. Dia is going to be a Pyro Claymore that is going to be coming into the standard banner. Yes, I know. I, I'm not really sure why this is the case, but it is. And it's going to be pretty interesting. We're going to talk about that in a second. But we also got Mika, who is a four-star character. And I think they are going to be on the second phase banners, which is also a little bit weird. I don't know why Mika's just not on the Dia banner. Should have been, but I think it is fine. And we've got two reruns. We've got Kamisato Ayaka. I think we have three runs, actually. Uh, we've got Shunha, which is also on the second phase. And then we've got Sino, which is going to be alongside Dia, I'm pretty sure. Now... Dia being the new 5-star character that we're going to be seeing, I am still wondering why she is going to be on the standard banner. I feel like she might have had something in her kit that made people upset and Genshin just didn't know what to do with it. So they made an executive decision to put her on the standard banner. Otherwise, I wouldn't really understand why she would be on the standard banner. But Anyways, I think everyone should be happy about that. Dia being on the standard banner is probably one of the best things that could happen for any character. Any character in Genshin that is added to the standard banner is a positive thing. Um, I know a lot of people might say that's not entirely the case, but the more characters on the standard banner, the more difficult it is to kind of snipe the character you want. But also because of the amount of times a you know normal player summons on an event wish they could either lose the 50 50 and get a random character from the standard banner or they win it and they get the character they want and in this situation you could get dia on a loss for a 50 50 so that is going to be a pretty positive impact i think on the game it balances it out it makes it better so we're getting the ternari treatment um because uh yeah, it just works that way. And having them on the standard banner, I think is good. You can get constellations. You can um, have a better experience, I think, getting the character you want. And it'll be much easier in that regard. We also got the new weapons as well. Beacon of the Reed Sea. <laughs> the, I, I see this, I want to say Red Sea, but it's Reed Sea. And it's kind of annoying, just a little bit. <laughs> but uh, we've also got the new weapon this weapon is free as well and it's going to be in the event for the wind bloom festival uh, um i'm not quite sure what the name is of the festival i'm sure it was going to see it uh we've got chapter three act six of the archon quest this is going to be an interesting part of the story definitely something to uh look forward for uh wind bloom's breath sorry that that's different um yeah just a bunch of mini games and stuff we got fungus mechanicus we got the I broke crystal verification. Mm, that's gonna be fun. And then uh, spices from the west. I mean, we've done this in the hangout event for Farazan. And I think that is pretty much everything. Yeah, we covered everything. And yeah, Dia coming into the standard banner. Definitely a positive thing for the game. And you guys should be excited for it. I am. <laughs> I definitely will try to get Dia. At least one Dia on my account. If I don't, I actually won't be that sad. I'll have a chance to get her. I'll have a chance to get her in the standard banner or if I lose 50-50 in 3.6 and afterwards. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for that. Mika, new character, or I'm, I'm not really sure how to say Mika, Mika, I don't know. I think it's Mika. Uh, definitely excited. In, I think they are from Mondstadt from what I remember. So it's going to be interesting. Maybe they have some knowledge about where Barca is because I'm pretty sure Pika and Barca were together because he's a surveyor and whatever. So he's on the, I don't know, maybe, maybe we get something. I don't know. Hopefully we do. And if we don't, that's okay. That is going to be pretty much everything in a condensed format here. Uh, we've went through everything that is pretty much important to the new update. I'm sure you guys have seen this already in the past, but if you haven't, this is just me covering it. I think Dia being on the standard banner is definitely good for the game. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. 
whether Dia being on the standard banner will affect the game positively or negatively. I want to know what you guys think. I think this is a great change and having characters in the future, more characters in the future in the standard banner is definitely a great idea and I think that is a positive, positive change. Maybe if we get enough new characters on the new standard banner, well not new standard banner, but just on the standard banner, they might make a separate banner as well to kind of separate the original characters and then the new ones. That would be massive. Definitely people would start summoning on the new one because they want the new characters and people who still want some constellations for the old ones can also do that as well. But for new people, for new players that want to come into Genshin Impact, this might impact them a little bit differently. So definitely having two standard banners might be the move i don't know i think it is hopefully genshin makes some sort of a difference and kind of goes through the route of making a new standard banner or two. just make two banners and then everybody's gonna be happy that's pretty much it that's all they have to do but yeah pretty much it thank you for watching see you guys next one